Hi, welcome to this video on uh, how to use the Syntex spinner in LocalBiz Vortex. And uh, to use the spinner, we just go straight to the page or the post because the um, Syntex spinner uh, coding is built directly into the page editor. Uh, you won't find anything <coughs> in the in the control panel here. So if you're looking to spin any content, um, don't bother looking in the control panel because the controls are not in the control panel. What we do is we'll go to posts and we'll take a, a brand new post or one that was defaulted in there. We, I've already done one pre previously here and uh, worked out very well indeed. What I'm going to do is just go to this dummy article here, article number two. We open it up and when it opens up I'll show you what the uh, spinner looks like or what the control panel does. As you can see, we're just here in the normal uh, edit post uh, page editor view, but down the bottom here, directly underneath the main editor, we've got a, a duplicate editor, editor, which is exactly the same, of course. It's the same WordPress editor, but it says Syntax Spin Editor, and uh, this is where we place our syntax uh, text <clears throat> and do the spinning from. We can either spin immediately, uh, and we can also then spin once per day, every 7 days, 14 days, 21 days, or 30 days, whatever you want to do. But uh, I'm just going to take you through a simple exercise here. And to do that, we'll just go to HTML view here. I'm just going to select all and delete so it's blank. Okay, same with the, uh, the title, we'll just delete that. So, okay, we go to HTML view here. So we've got two editors that are exactly... Uh, the same. I'll just turn that off, the track max. So, okay, we need to now insert our syntax text, which uh, I have got already here for, let's have a look at this one here, things to know about roofers. And it's all syntax, as you can see. What I'm going to do is just select all. Okay. Uh, on our uh, niche library sites, this is already completely done and you're just installing the site as a as a deployed clone site but when you're doing your own if you're going to use the best spinner or um, uh, any of the, those other excellent uh, spinning uh, software programs you just basically spin your article and uh, do this just you know copy it to your clipboard we go back to WordPress and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste it in here okay now you paste it in this the syntax spinner editor, but you also, and this is very important, identically, just exactly the same spun text in the um, in the main editor, the ordinary editor. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the title which has been spun, and I'm going to cut that out. Okay, so just cut that out completely, and I'm going to of course put the spun title up here that will get spun in a moment. We're going to go back down to. The spin editor and also put the same syntax title in there and uh, I'm just going to click spin now if you see that uh, dialog box says leave the page you can click yes we're just spinning this text here and you will see the top editor goes from syntax spec uh, um, text to ordinary text so we've now got things to know concerning roofers uh, things to know about roofers and uh, it's just a normal article the text has been spun so it remains down in the syntax spin editor as syntax text because uh, if you need to spin that again and we'll do that in a moment um, you just click the spin again or you have it scheduled to spin every day every seven days or whatever and it will spin this uh, text in here and then automatically uh, publish it to uh, to the front end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to update this. Yeah, we've got it in articles. That's where I want it to be going. And we're just going to update the page. So we've we've now saved the page. <clears throat> and if we go to the front end and we have a look at the post, we'll have a look how that came out. Okay, so here we go. Things to know concerning roofers. Okay, things to know concerning roofers, etc., etc., etc. Now. Although the, it's set out in paragraphs, there's no um, uh, bolding or underlining or anything like that uh, has gone on. You can actually do that either in the main editor itself. When you, once you've done a spin that you're happy with, you can say, okay, well, I'm happy with that spin. Maybe I'll change a few words or whatever. And now I'll edit um, or format the, um, the editing in that particular uh, 
uh, version. Or you can also, conversely, you can basically take any aspect of the uh, of the uh, spun text and you can make it bold. If I go to visual there, you'll see that now the whole syntax text has been made bold. When you spin that, it will spin in a bold manner. Okay, so um, to give you an idea, let's just do this as an exercise. Okay, let's just say uh, the first sentence maybe. Okay, moving down here a little bit. Okay, that'll do. It looks long, but it's not that long once you've got it spun. And we'll make that bold as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this again. Spin now. Okay, and you'll see in the main editor here that this will spin it again. And we've now got our bolding for the heading and the first uh, sentence or the first paragraph on the second one. And um, if we go and have a look at that, we'll go in a separate tab and have a look at that. You'll see again, everything's come out. Okay, the, uh, the main uh, uh, title for the page or the first sentence of the page has been bolded that paragraph's been bolded so you can see that it behaves exactly the way that it should do and if we look at the two here side by side you can see that they are different things to know concerning roofers things to understand about roofers and uh, the various paragraphs and, and sentences sentences of all changed so that's uh, what we're aiming for and that's exactly how it works and it just works beautifully every time um, and uh, you'll find that uh, it is very very simple to work with okay so that's pretty much uh, how you um, set up the article now if you wanted to set up an image which we do want to set up an image with this uh, we'll just use the featured image to set the image okay so we just go here I've already loaded up a bunch of images to the library earlier on I'm gonna pick the one that I like which is this one here Okay, so it says down here, use as featured image. So we'll use that as featured image. It's saving. It says it's done. And I can see there behind the light box that it has been done. Okay, so that won't actually show up here. But if we save the page and we go back to the article that we just spun before and we refresh that page, we should see our image show up there it is it's on the left hand side could have it on the right or whatever and it's pretty much uh, as easy as that folks to uh, set up your um, your articles uh, your, your, your posts and your pages the pages is done the same way it doesn't matter whether you're doing a page or a post and uh, that's how you use the spinner a little bit more on using the spinner later but uh, um, just to give you an insight into some of the things that you can do with this you can actually set it up to spin on schedule every day every seven days every 14 days or whatever and the, the advantage of that can be in having extra SEO uh, juice if you like by the search engine seeing that you've got new content um, to your uh, to your site um, and uh, once you've set that up we can what we can do is we can we can make this go invisible so we we don't have to have it there every time we you go to the page so we just go to screen options here you'll see syntax spin editor if I uncheck that and now we go back down here you'll see that it's disappeared okay and uh, it's as simple as that whether you want to if you don't want to use the syntax spinner you don't have to you don't have to have it underneath the main editor if you don't want to but that's pretty much how it is how it's done just find your syntax a text you put it into the syntax uh, spinner editor and the normal editor click spin click save add your image and you're all done okay thanks for uh, staying with me on this video I hope you found that interesting I look forward to seeing you on the next one bye now